Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's well. If you haven't yet subscribed, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Um, we're getting close to 450 subscribers, which is great. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another in-depth review on my 143 scale model car collection. Um, I've got the Mercedes-Benz SL class um, in this quite nice brown metallic colour. Um, and this one is made by Mini Champs Models. Um, like all of these 143 scales, they do come in their um, in their box. They do come in the plexiglass um, display case as well. Um, but this one is a unique piece, especially in my 143 scale model car collection, because this one is a opening model. So what I mean by that is, you can retract the roof into the boot and then you can also put the roof up and attach it on to the windscreen which i'll show you guys um, later on it does come with instructions for you to do that um, so this is my only um, kind of um, opening 143 scale model car that i've got in the collection this is a mini champs model um, i think mini champs make a lot um, better model cars in 143 scale than their 118 scale models and um, I always find that their 143 scales tend to be a little bit more detailed and just um, a better quality compared to their 118 models um, so I definitely would recommend their 143 scales they are they are really good from my from my experiences um, but let's start off with the um, with the front end of the model now again um, this is pretty much just a um, I think this is more of like a GT car. I wouldn't put this in the in, in the sports car um, category. Um, it's a very nice GT um, top down touring car, um, and I, I bought it primarily because of the um, the, the roof and um, the moving parts on, on this model car. I found it quite rare at the time. Obviously, now that Auto Art have made the McLaren F1, the um, the Countach with all their die cast. Uh, models with the doors opens the boot opens and um, fully opening models and they're so expensive now um, but mini champs I, I thought kind of were the first ones to do this that 143 scale um, especially when I bought this a long long time ago so let's start off with the front end now again we talk about all these ones in 143 really highly detailed models in 143 scale um, I don't think some some collectors realise just because they're um, a smaller scale, they are still really highly detailed, and I would recommend um, collectors starting out or collectors who, who collect other scales to um, to definitely try the 143s. They are cheaper and they are very highly detailed. So you've got the um, the chrome grid at the front. The headlights are done quite nicely. You've got a nice um, Mercedes badge, quite prominent in the grille. And you've also got the sticker version on top. Again, good details, um, good lines, good finish. Everything's very highly done with this model. Um, and also the grills on the boot are really nice. You've got the chrome lines which match in with the um, front end of the model. And you've got these are actual grills as well. So you can actually see the um, the mesh in the grills, which is a nice touch by Mini Champs. Um, the grill's nicely done. And the whole front end of the model, I think, is... Is, is, is good by mini champs and um, it would have been nice to have a bit of mesh in the grills and at the bottom but um you, you know it's not it's not too bad um it's good quality materials and i think the front end does look quite good the headlights are done quite nicely quite clear typical mercedes um, and i think they're really nicely done so um let's move over to the side end of the model now again, the side of the model car, really nice stance, especially if you display it with the roof kind of half on, half off. It looks really good in the um, in your collection, in the cabinet. Um, I do like the, the base that the model car comes on. You can tell, you can see the, the model car, the colour, and um, the limited edition little plaque on the, um, on the other side. Again... All the shut lines are really nice and neat. You've got good chrome details on the um, on the side of the model with mesh in it 
pink in there as well. The wheels are okay. Um, could have been a little bit better, a bit more details on the calipers, the tires, and the um, and the wheels. But I think they they're okay. They're about you know six out of ten, seven out of ten. They could have gone a bit extra with the details, but not too bad. The color of the model again um, under my lights. I hope it comes out. It's quite nice. Um, it's like a metallic brown color. There is a metallic fleck in the paintwork, which I really do like. So coming around to the side, the interior is typical um, Mercedes and Mini Champs have done a good job replicating it. You've got quite a lot of different materials in there. Um, good details on the dash, the steering wheel, the seats and the carpets. You've got this nice little carpeted um, finish in there, which is good. Um, so I think overall the detail is pretty good. Coming around the back of the model again, not much to see here if I'm honest, but it is quite neat, quite detailed. Um, again, it's um, it's okay. Now you, there is the Mercedes badge in the centre. You might not be able to just about see that, but the brake lights are good. The exhausts are also finished in chrome. Um, and I think overall it looks okay. Coming around the other side of the model, again, not too badly done. And um, the wheels are a little bit disappointing, but I think overall the model is quite good. And um, if I have to give this a score out of 10, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10 um, because of the roof, which I will show you guys now. Now, again, it is fiddly. I would recommend using. A auto art key um, just to get in and open it up but I'm trying to do it now so the roof can you lift this bit up And then you guys can see the retractable roof in there. It is quite fiddly and I do not want to break it. So I'm going to um, um, leave the roof in there. But um, it is quite detailed. The roof does go up and in. Um, and I think it is quite nice just to display it open. Just so you know people can actually see that it's um, a, 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 an opening model. Which I quite like. But yeah, I think overall it's a good 6.5, 7 out of 10. It's a good model to have in the collection. And um, stay tuned, please subscribe for more in-depth reviews to come. And um, please like and um, leave a comment in the video.